Bloomberg Report chart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The Green Market Summit in Chicago is on May 7th. It's coming up quickly, and we have an amazing lineup. You will hear from Peter Miller, the CEO of Slang Worldwide, as he dives into building top-selling brands in the crowded vape space. We've also got Cresco Labs talking about building a national brand in cannabis. MMLG Brands brings their consulting secrets to the stage. And Cresta Management is going to be talking about hiring and recruiting for cannabis companies. You know, it wouldn't be right to come to Chicago and not talk about commodity trading in hemp. We've got Jonathan Rubin from Cannabis Benchmarks to talk about wholesale hemp pricing. Buy your tickets now. Okay, on to the news. The week was fairly quiet compared to last week's crazy news cycle. We have some earnings to go over. Cresco Labs reported fourth quarter revenue of $17 million. That was a 441% increase over last year, and the company reported a profitable year for 2018. How many cannabis companies can say that so early in the game? Harvest Health and Rec reported $16.9 million in revenue for the fourth quarter, an increase of 135% over last year. CanTrust also reported preliminary earnings of $17 million in the first quarter, and they also announced they began a $200 million offering. Saul Global, the owner of Florida's Three Boys Farms, entered into a binding letter of intent with Merida Capital Partners to acquire Merida's Michigan subsidiary, MCP Wellness. That deal is valued at $150 million. Now, interestingly enough, a separate company that Merida invested in, New Frontier Data, filed a defamation lawsuit against Saul Global CEO, Andy DeFrancesco. So things could certainly get awkward very quickly over at Merida. Ionic Brands acquired Edibles Company Zoots for $855,000. MemMen got its first tranche of money from Gotham Green, and that was $20 million. Pax Labs said that it raised $420 million. See what they did there? The company says, says that the post money valuation is now $1.7 billion, and they are expected to go public very soon. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Bortar reporting for the Green Market Report from Times Square.